by looking at the thumbnail all of you guys really know what's going down today it's a little bit late i need to go work tomorrow i want to get this other thing on the road like 100 percent comfortable on the road and that's why i'm installing coilovers in the car okay yes you guys heard me correctly so the story behind the story is that i actually bought the coilovers for someone and the guy who deposited the money told me he was spending and I was like for the coilovers and then I thought to myself okay but I actually need coilovers so I just took it for myself because I did spend my own money to repair the coilovers and the best part is this is my previous coilovers I had in this car so I literally bought the coilovers back from the guy with extended spaces and all full coilovers so I know the drive comfortable is going to be super amazing because I changed some suspension components um, in a few of my previous videos and now I have the coilovers and the car is going to drive super comfortable because those cut springs literally drove super crap due to me installing my old shocks in the car so let me explain it real quick once again the shocks that were in my car were the guy who bought the coilovers by me that was his shocks so when he sold the coilovers to me, I had to take the shocks out of my car, give that shock to him with standard springs and then I had to put in my old shocks which were super crap and super outdated. But now I have coilovers, I'm installing the coilovers, the car is running super super nice as you guys have seen because we reassembled everything in the previous video. But I'm going to put you guys on the time lapse to enjoy this moment with us because we would like some good fitment after installing the spoilers tonight. Enjoy. Just keep in mind we already installed the left front coil of a so we got the extended spacer right here was the flip mount so guys this is the extended flip mount spaces what happened is that you literally flip your mounting from the inside which is right here guys can see this is underneath the engine bay this one is on top of the engine bay with a spacer and a reinforced plate just underneath that so it will be situated like this with the mounting on top if any of you guys would like this spacer please to hit me up on IG because I could send you the guy's number that literally makes this and keep in mind he sells these spaces for 700 rand but if you use Letter Customs as a reference you will save a hundred rand on a set of these so guys go for your spaces right now I'll leave the guy's number in the description down below if you guys are interested in those as well but we literally start installing this side first just to show you guys the comparison between this side and this side and we literally are loading the car I know I'm using the word literally a lot nowadays but I just want some comfortability in my life with these coil louvers and as soon as we're done installing that side I'm gonna give you guys a nice walkthrough on the right height in front because I would like this car super low in front but because we're still running steelies I won't be able to go that low but I want a nice daily height for the car but I'll put you guys on time real quick while we'll be busy installing this side coilover
I would just like to interrupt this video saying thanks for everyone out there and to everyone out there for subscribing to the channel, liking the videos because we literally just hit 12,000 subs. Super thankful for that. I can't wait to see where this channel is going to go from this point onwards. There's still a lot of exciting content coming for this yellow yellow thing. And trust me, after this project car, there's going to come another project car, another one, and it's just going to continue like this, most probably for the rest of my life. So let's keep this channel strong. Keep sharing the videos, keep liking the videos, keep subscribing, and let's just keep moving forward. But today, I am working with the yellow car, and I really got the coil that was fitted in the car, so now we know the car is low. The car drives super, super nice. And before I have to leave off for work later today, I just want to get a few things off my list. I'll just walk you through it real quick. So at the moment, many of you guys already know that I don't have any um, tail lights at the back. So this adapter is for the new speak velocity lights. I need the adapter for the old speak velocity lights because um, these ones don't work on my lights. So I'm still looking for the adapter, but for the time being, I'm going to work out my own adapter. But the main problem I'm having at the moment is that none of my tail, both of my tail lights are not working. And the other thing is that this thingy right here, I don't know what you call this, but this is for the brake. So make example, whenever I'm tapping on the brake, then this thing pushes all the way out. But as soon as I release the brake and the brake pedal pushes up again, then it pushes in like this little bit and that forces the rear lights to actually go off or the brake lights to go off so i need to make this adapter work on my old pedal which is this one right here so i'll have to drill a hole in here to get this to fit in there but i will need to get it deep enough in order for the pedal to actually touch this part in front i don't think that might be a problem i can just make a, a way to get this thing to touch in front, maybe just put the screw in so that the pedal can at least just touch it whenever the brake pedal is released and whenever I'm tapping on the brake it just pushes out so hopefully I can get that sorted today with uh, manufacturing some taillight brackets or switches at the back because I need to get my indicators, my reverse, my reverse lights and everything else to work because I literally can't drive like this, it's totally illegal I'm going to remove this tint as well because this tint looks super dark and it puts a lot of attention on the car, especially when I'm driving at night. Another thing is that my rear um, number plate light actually don't work as well. So I will just have to check out that. Make sure that all the fuses are um, hundreds. And here is a nice example of how it is supposed to look. That all you guys see right there, that's where that bracket is supposed to be mounted in. You literally just put it in there and you turn it in. But as you guys can see, this is this one. This is the new spec one. And... Guys can see right here, I have the old spec one, and there is no hole right there, so I'll have to get a hole right above this, um, with the right distance as well, and to get it on the pedal, so let's keep our fingers crossed I actually get this right and don't actually mess this thing up, because unfortunately I can't get these two nuts off, because it's one of these um, broken off nuts, like... They get it from, my, um, from from the factory when you like tighten it up and it gets tight enough and it literally like, breaks off and that causes you not to be able to remove these two for safety reasons. And the same applies for the one on my car. Just keep in mind I never bought me the U-bracket. I still need to get that as well. But this frame structure is still strong enough for the time being. It's only a temporary solution. We'll still get a permanent solution but... I'm going to start drilling this real quick. I'm going to put you guys on the time lapse while I'll be busy drilling this. And hopefully, hopefully I can get this sorted. This is actually the switch for that um, thingy majingy. I don't know what you call that thing. For this. So if you just plug this in, then, it, then the brake lights would go on. And as soon as you apply force on this thing, like this, then the brake lights will go off. I hope it makes sense. Um, I'm going to put you guys through the process while um, I'll be busy with this. And then afterwards... I'll show you guys what I have accomplished. Well, 
what I managed to achieve this far is that I got the hole drilled. It's not a perfect um, circular hole though, but it actually still gets grip of this um, switch right here. But the problem I'm having is that this switch stops here by my finger, but it needs like a small gap as well to like keep it pushed in like this. Just get it focused real quick. So what I'm gonna do is that I actually got a one of these fuel tubings. I just put it over here and it's actually very very solid. So I test fitted it and it actually works but it's a little bit too long so I'm just gonna cut it off right there. Like make example I think like 5 mil. I'm cut it off a little bit of 5 mil and hopefully it's supposed to work. So I'm just gonna cut it off real quick, get it fitted and we can see if the brake light actually goes on and off. Well guys we actually got the brake light to work so that's a bonus for me. Check this out real quick. Um, I just put that tubing in front. I just cut like say two more, three more off. And um, if I tap the brakes right now, you can actually see the light actually goes on. So just check right here. There is the brake pedal. That light right there. That's the brake light. So just check that there. See it's on, off, on, off, on, off. amazing stuff it's really nice to know like how you can actually manufacture a golf like it's super super amazing and this was like a very like easy modification it just took some patience and some time but now we got the tail lights to work and i only have one adapter though so i will have to make another adapter for this side so hopefully i can get everything sorted today so let's just keep our fingers crossed and let's hope i can get both tail lights sorted today because I know the indicator definitely works and I know the reverse light actually works as well. Other thing that doesn't work is the lights for the normal lights. If you put the normal lights on it's supposed to be um, red and if you break, if you tap the brake it's supposed to brighten up. And this light doesn't do that at all for some reason. I still have to check that out. The bulb still seems fine for that but I have no idea why it's doing that so I'm just gonna figure that out real quick. But for now I'm just going to try and make another wire for this side and I can see actually how far I come but this far, some good progress so I actually found these plugs laying in the garage and I hope I can actually use these because I only need 3 of these to be able to uh, make everything work on my taillight so what I was thinking I can literally just use another single one which is this one I can use on here um, and these um, terminals here at the back are the exact same size as the terminals that's supposed to be fitted in here so i'm just gonna break off this casing right here and i'll just tape around it and um hopefully i can get everything in without um them touching each other and hopefully the taillights will work so let's keep our fingers crossed i'll just be tracing them the exact same way these ones are connected right here and hopefully i can get these um lights to actually work which will be Super, super amazing. So, yeah, please keep our fingers crossed. I got all um, six bulbs in, three this side, three this side, one for the indicator, one for the reverse and one for the brake and the uh, normal like lights just to like pop on whenever I put the lights on but that doesn't work, it's only the brake that works, indicator and reverse. I'm gonna put you guys on the stand real quick while I show you guys how it works. Today guys we got everything wrapped up, we got the tail lights to work, we got that switch installed by the pedal so we know we are 100% and we 
almost 100% uh, fully legal on the road. Just keep in mind that my license this does expire today which is the 30th of November and I need to go get the car roadworthy. I need to go do the data dot and the engine clearance for this car so I will still be doing this or that in the upcoming weeks. I have three weeks to do that. So I need to get that sorted in those three weeks. Roadworthy, data dot, um, engine clearance and I still need to get the car on my name and make sure there's no fines on the car. After that is done I can literally start thinking about like spray work and other small odds and ends on the car because if I get that out of the way then I know I have like a big weight or like a heavy weight off my shoulders and I can start moving forward but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you guys enjoyed the surprise just keep in mind this is only part one of the surprise there is a second part to the surprise and the second part you guys can enjoy way more than the first part but like this video stay tuned with more related content because the next video you guys are gonna like you guys are really gonna like it and it's gonna be an amazing surprise so stay tuned for the next video and like this video share this video and stay tuned with more related content guys keep in mind stop racing and go stars